You asked us to bring it back, so we brought it back. Gen Z versus Millennial Trivia. Kind of speaks for itself. We will ask Gen Zers questions Millennials will for sure know. And we ask Millennials questions for sure Gen Zers would know. The classic example, Davi. Was the one from last year with Cindy Croft. Oh, it was it years ago? It was years ago. And this is when we used to do, it did, we are now incorporating Gen Z before it used to be Gen X mm-hmm. versus Millennial. Yeah. But now we're switching it up a little bit. This was back when I was answering phones okay. and I about peed my pants in the other studio. It was so funny. Uh, Kristen's question was, what did Cindy Crawford sexily sip outside that gas station in that commercial in like 1994 or something? And because they have to say something, uh-huh. they have to guess something. They said V8 juice. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, and that yeah. sun, oh, it's yes. warm and so thick. It <laughs> left that red yeah. V8 mustache on her face. It was sexy. so sexy. <laughs> so sexy. <laughs> All right, Bella wants to represent Gen Zers. Hey, Bella. Hi, how are you? Good. All right, tell us a little bit about yourself. First of all, how old are you? I am 20 years old, oh. and I'm a nursing student at Penn State. Okay. Okay. Good for you. Yeah, thank you for listening in Pennsylvania. You. Appreciate you. And you're going to be going up against Brandy, who is representing millennials. Hey, Brandy. Ow, ow, what's up? <laughs> okay. Out the gate. Yep, yes. head out of the limo this early in the yep. morning, going to prom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a millennial if I've ever heard one. <laughs> All right, Brandy, uh, you are how old? I am 36. All right. Representing proudly millennials. Kristen, we'll take it from here. All right. Because uh, we defer to our elders, Brandy, you will be going first for millennial. Um, Also, the way this is going to work, ladies, and Tommy and Bert, I need you guys to keep track of the time. What? You just said our elders and you went to Brandy at 36 years old. Quick sidebar here real quick. Uh So my fiance's daughter, Eliza, is seven years old and was asking me randomly about the queen the other day. Is there a queen? I said, yeah, there's a queen in England. She's like, how old is she? And I said, she is old. And she's like, 30? <laughs> I hate them. Oh, uh, <laughs> now we got to fight. Right? Uh, no. Like, no, she's like 95. <laughs> Literally 95. All right, so Bella and Brandy, um, like, for instance, this first round. Brandy, I'm going to ask you a question. You have 10 seconds to answer the question. You must say something. If you don't answer it or you don't get it correct... Bella, you have a chance to steal that point, okay? And it just goes back and forth like that. Okay. okay. All right, ladies. All right, so here we go. Brandy, you are first. Again, and we're taking your word on it. Please don't Google. Please don't cheat. I trust you. We'll hear you. Yes. <laughs> we'll hear you, little fingers. All right, so here we go. Our first category is movies. Brandy, your question. When her secret love letters somehow get mailed to each of her five crushes, Laura Jean finds her quiet high school existence turned upside down. Released in 2018 on Netflix and starring Lana Kander and Noah Centineo. What is the name of the movie? Oh. High School Musical. (laughs) High School Musical is not correct. (laughs) Okay. So now can your Gen Zer steal this point? Bella, do you need me to repeat the question? No. It's to all the boys I've loved before. That is correct. Well done. (laughs) Sorry, Millennial Brandy. The way she said no. I know. I'm good. I'm (laughs) descending. All right. Category is movies. The question for Bella. And if Bella gets it wrong, Brandy, you have a chance to steal. Bella. Katie Heron is a hit with the plastics, the A-list girl click at her new school until she makes the mistake of falling for Aaron Samuels, the ex-boyfriend of Alpha Plastic, Regina George. Released in 2004 and starring Lindsay Lohan and Rachel McAdams, what's the name of this movie? Mean Girl. That is correct. Yeah, that I go. That's a timeless classic there right go. there. Well done, Gen Z. Or t- All right, here we go, Brandy, for Millennials. So it is two nothing right now for our Gen Z, or correct? Correct. Okay. Category is Entertainment. According to Deloitte's 2021 Digital Media Trends Survey, the number one entertainment activity for Gen Z consumers is A, social media, B, internet, C, video games, or D, TV movies. How is not eating Tide Pods one of the categories? <laughs> Come on now. We should give That's you a point. We that, should give her a point. That's a point. <laughs> no, that, no that's a point. You should just win. <laughs> that was a rumor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with social media. 
A, social media. That is incorrect. <laughs> Bella, for the steal, is it B, internet, C, video games, or D, TV slash movies? I'm going to go with video games. That is correct. Oh, oh man. Y'all need to get we believe you. Uh, I don't know that I do. <laughs> <laughs> I believe her. <laughs> All right, Bella's up three nothing. Our Gen Z is up three nothing yep. now, and it's her turn, right? Yes, it is. All right, Andy Bella. Said, Y'all need to get jealous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bella. Category entertainment. According to Deloitte's 2021 Digital Media Trend Survey, the number one entertainment activity for millennial consumers is a social media. B, internet. C, video games. D, TV slash movies. Well, they're not as exciting as Gen Z, so I'd say movies. Is that your final answer? Yes. That is correct. Ooh. Man, okay. and she even mm-hmm. like, oh, they're not as exciting. <laughs> I mean, rubbed it in. <laughs> yeah. Just don't want shade. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting those, ugly. Those vintage classic movies like Sister Act. All right, Brandy. <laughs> focus, focus. <laughs> Brandy, I feel like you're going to get on the board with this one, okay? I have faith in you. I mean, you don't want to get shut out as a millennial here. I mean, you're representing an entire generation now, Brandy. All right, category is music. All right. This music artist belongs to Gen Z. Her single driver's license set a daily record for global streams. Who is the artist? Repeat that one more time. Okay. It's not going to help. You know that. (laughs) Stop it. The music artist belongs to Gen Z. Her single driver's license set a daily record for global streams. Who is the artist? Selena Gomez. <laughs> that is incorrect. Okay. Mo looks pissed that he knows it. I did know one. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> That's what I knew. Bella, do I need to repeat the question? No, ma'am. It's no, don't man me. Wrong. Don't shoot <laughs> me. Don't shoot me. You're not man. You're not man the host. Nah, she's disqualified. <laughs> No. Yes, Bella, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> you. No ma'ams and no sirs. 86 of them. I'm just kidding. We're in the South. That's very polite. All right, Bella, who's the artist? It is Olivia Rodrigo. That is correct. Well done. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, she can still tie it up. Just for the record, can you, 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 can't, yeah. you can't even use the South thing as an excuse because mm-hmm. she goes to Penn State. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Shh, I was... She just called you old. <laughs> Let's take some points away. Yep. I remember she was from Pennsylvania. I was trying to cover over that fact. All right, so here we go. This is for the win, Bella. If you get this point, there is no way that Brandy can come back, Okay. Okay. Here we go. Category is music. Bella for Gen Z. This music artist is a millennial. Released in 2008, her song Poker Face spent a record-breaking 83 weeks at number one on the U.S. Hot Digital Songs chart. Who is the artist? Lady Gaga. That is correct. Yeah. We got ourselves a winner, yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. All right, Brandy. I we... guess I do need to go eat a Tide Pod. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, good for your brain. Brandy, we should have put you on the voice disguiser. <laughs> Everybody's, laugh- Everybody's laughing at you. We're all laughing at you. <laughs> yeah, family, you let us friends. down. It's ugly. Millennials everywhere. Brandy, thanks a lot for listening. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right. You can go ahead and hang up that rotary phone now. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, a tight pot of day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> and Bella from Penn State, you won, so you have the right to come back next week and defend your crown and get another $100 if you want to come back. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I would love to. Just All right, we will do. Leave the mams at home next time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right, that's the yes. only thing you got to do. All right, Bella, we'll talk to you next week. All right, thank you. Bye bye. The Bird Show.